Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. My name is Mods and today we're talking about a huge batch of mods guys that I already promised you to do on Discord and on Nexus guys and on YouTube. And um, it'll, it's clothing mods guys. We're talking about military clothing mods guys from Modern Warfare guys, military outfits that you can get from a Discord server. I'm going to link every Discord server that you need in the description down below, don't worry. Also my own, please be sure to join our beautiful family on Discord. Um, you can join it via the comments in my pinned comment uh, below guys. Thank you so much. So, we are starting off um, with our outfits, but before we get to that, please sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below. What do you think of my videos, my gameplay and everything else, guys? Thank you so much for your support. So, we're starting off right there with our outfits. As you can see, I already have all of them on display and we're going to be talking from left to right and um, in detail. So, let's just jump right into it and start. So, the first one we have is Tree Bracken right here um, with like his skulls. This is a perfect mod for Halloween, guys. A huge deer skull on the head, the little bird skulls here around his neck on the chest. Gutting Bowie knife with a like made from bone, also really nice to look here. The uh, tactical equipment. This is a perfect ghillie suit if you want to scare your enemies to death right there just before they die and um, like on the backpack we have a tactical backpack with like wire cutters and animal bones um, on the back, deer antlers, um, tactical wall belt and everything else. So next mod, next right up, Piper. Can't be serious. So we have Ghost Job on right here, um, Ghost Job on outfit with from the classic Modern Warfare 2019. Gas grenades, grenades, the pistol on the chest right here, mag pouches, the outfit is really nice. Get this if you want to play as Ghost. This mod is available on Nexus. Next up we have König. This is a mod from the Modern Warfare outfit pack. This is not on Nexus, this is on the Discord server. From, well, we have the gas grenades, the pouches, tactical walkie-talkie, pl some ballistic plates and the, of course the König ballisto ballistical helmet right there. Next up, we have the Cortec. These are the Cortec outfits from the Russian faction from Modern Warfare. Nothing much to say here. We have the base magazine, some pouches and the tactical helmet right there. Next up, we have the helmet with the balaclava. The visor is up. The outfit is like with more pouches to the side, two magazines and a tactical walkie-talkie on the back here. Next up, we have Ivy. Ivy, no, don't stand in my way when I'm talking to our viewers. Thank you so much. So. We have the magazines, the pouches here, visor, the um, well, tactical belt here, really nice to look at. The visor also like reflects the sunlight, really nice to look at. And some pistol magazines on the left side here. Next up we have the um, shotgun unit with SMG and shotgun ammunition here. If you want to go for a Sega 12 and some shotgun builds for your Russian Cortex, this is right for you. Next up we have the um, assault rifle here, assault rifle magazines. Um, Ballistic mask vest, ten tactical walkie-talkie, pistol mags on the left and right side here, as you can see. Really nice outfit right there. Next up, we have the one with the sunglasses. This the base outfit did not change, although the only addition here is the um, visor to protect yourself from the sun. Next up, we have Horangi, and Horangi is a skin from Modern Warfare from the shop, and this is a like, really nice operator right there. He even has pants in his vest, as you can see. Tactical vest, uh, magazines, pouches. Um, walkie-talkie on the left side here, pistol holster, really nice skin and you can actually get and play Horangi here in two skins even. This is the tactical skin with the um, digital camo right here and here on the right we have the um, and ballistic camo, ballistic vest and magazines here with some tactical equipment. The mask is a ballistic mask now with like a huge heart on the helmet and the night vision goggles right there. Next up, Ivy, can you get out of my way please? What I'm going to send you, send you away right there. So, let's go. Next up we have the uh, pilot from Cortec. This is the pilot outfit from the helicopters. With magazines here, some SMG mags and some AR mags right here. The, the, the vest here, the huge coat here is really nice addition. And the pilot helmet of course too. Next up we have the Mexico units from our friends from Alejandro and his uh, units. Right here we have the magazines, Mokitoki base helmet, this is the base outfit right there with some tactical med kit on the left here and right side, really nice to look at right there. Next up we have the, um, not Ivy, Ivy how many times do I have to tell you, do not stand in my way. Next up, come on, we have the more heavier build right there with some magazines, tactical walkie-talkie flag right here, a body cam and like a plastic cover. Magazines on the left and right side, SMG Max, Pistol Max, and a pistol holster right there in tactical camo right there. So next mods, first row is done, next row. So we have the heavier outfits for the Mexican army. We have the smoke grenades, uh, smoke grenades on the on the like on the chest here, magazines, uh, magazine pouches, ballistic vest here, really nice to look at, tactical 
helmet, really nice outfit. Then we come to the other outfit, this is the, the other outfit with the body cam on the head. The tactical glasses, scissors on the chest, uh, magazines, pouches left and right, and a tactical knife on the chest, right there. Next up, we have the heavier ones. This is the heavy one with the ballistic vest, some magazines, a walkie-talkie, a ballistic mask, and a ballistic helmet right there. And some tactical equipment on the hip. Next up, we have the uh, Angelito Mexicano uh, heavy outfit here with the ballistic mask, the goggles, the skin is really nice, tactical to camo, uh, magazines on the left and right side, and the pouches here. Really nice addition. Then we come to the Gromsko guys, and Gromsko is one of my favorite clothing mods ever and favorite operators from Modern Warfare just because he's amazing, he's from the Gromsko unit from Poland and this is a really nice mod here with like the long um, tactical sleeves here really nice to look at, you even move in the wind and we have like the uh, tactical vest here and on the back when you come around he has a tactical backpack here some tactical wall belts and these pouches reach all the way down over there, really nice mod, his name is Kostyushko in real life, so it's really nice right here to see him also to be here in Fallout 4, if you want to play as Gromsko, right there with the patch on his arm, right there, really nice mod. This is the second version, and this is the first base version for him, with tactical magazines uh, on the chest, the Poland flag on the medkit right there, um, tactical flashes, the walkie talkie, and a little ghillie on his head, guys, to camouflage himself, really nice right there if you want to go for a Poland playstyle right there. Next up we have the uh, Shadow Company outfits guys and the Shadow Company outfits come also in different variation. This is the base one with the magazines, pouches on the chest and the logo on the chest right there. Next up we have the heavier ones, this is a heavy one with a ballistic vest, magazines, some tech walkie talkie on the left here. Uh, pouches and a huge ballistic helmet with the night vision scope right there on his head. Next up we have the DMR version, thank you Nora for standing there. We have the DMR version for your sniper builds if you want to go for a sniping without ghillie. Right there, magazines, scissor, walkie talkie and some other stuff right there. Next up we have also one of the heavier ones with a huge ballistic mask, night vision goggles, uh, like a shamak on, on his neck. Um, we have the magazines here, left and right tactical walkie talkie shotgun shells on the left hip some tactical flashes and we have the magazines right there, really nice to look at right here. Next up we have also one of the heavier with a huge ballistic uh, plates here if you want to go for your LMG builds and no magazines on the hip, um, pouches, so it is only like for your LMG builds if you want to go for a really heavy operator with some also leg protection right there. Next up we have the um, SMG version here for your pistol and some very very tactical one, not much protection here, only if you want to go for very very stealthy and at night, this is also a really nice outfit here. Next up we have the um, also a really nice one, also in like camo here, shotgun shells, AR magazines, walkie talkie, helmet with uh, sunglasses that even reflects the surroundings, really nice to look at here, tactical pouches on the hip also are there. Next up we have the uh, AR, also built with some ballistics. Uh, shotgun shells, pistol mags on left and right side, the helmet with the night vision goggles and some addition on the hip right there as you can see, some pistol, even a taser as you can see, right there, really nice to look at. Next up we have the Juggernaut outfit guys, in the Juggernaut outfit you will need a very heavy LMG or the minigun for this to be really realistic because this guy has a huge um, ammo case on his back. If you want to shred those ghouls with miniguns, as the Brotherhood always say, use this outfit because it's the most heavy outfit for you to choose right now. So next up, let's just continue right there, is the um, ghillie suit from Soap guys right there that you used with Price in the sniping mission in Modern Warfare 2022. Really nice to look at right there, some ghillie outfit for you to choose if you want to go for a sniper build. Magazines on the hip, on the chest and some tactical knife on the chest right there. Is the music too loud or is it just me? I just cut it off for now. Okay, so the next up we have Ghost with like huge glowing golden mask, golden pistol. If you want to kill your enemies in style with magazines with the shotgun shells right there on the hip. Ballistic vest, really nice stealthy operator ghost outfit in style with gold right there. So if you want to use that one, get this from the Discord server. Next up we have Ghost in his classical SAS outfit, the mask, the pistol, some magazines here on the hip, on the back and on the chest right there, really nice addition. In his jeans, this is the outfit that I'm wearing always in my videos, really nice to look at, really really nice addition right there. Next up we have Ghost in his camo outfit here right there, sunglasses, mask, um, 
well, knife on the chest, magazines on the hip and on the back, and we have the tactical walkie talkie right there, a shamak on the hip, and a medical med kit on the hip and on the leg right there. Really nice ghost outfit. Grab this thing from the Discord server too. Next up, we have Ghost in his heavy SAS outfit with the magazines and different camos and styles, smoke grenades, talkie talkie, war belt here with like additions. Really nice to look at the tactical flashes, and he even has like the compass on his hand right there, the um, backpack, and a huge hammer for your finishers. And to break indoors, you have this breaching device on the end of the hammer right there. So, next up, we have the Milsim base outfit if you want to play as the Milsim. Um, with the camo right there with some tactical pouches, shamaks and magazines right there for you to choose from. Next up we have Ghost in his tactical plate outfit uh, with some magazines, bo tactical bowie knife, um, ma magazines on the chest right there, tactical flashes right there, really nice magazine on the hip, really nice outfit from the classical trailer of Modern Warfare 2022 right there if you want to get this outfit get it from Discord. Now we're going to some other stuff. This is actually the outfit for the IV Synaptic. This mod is from Nexus, and this you can play here as a robot, guys, and even equip this on your companions as the military robot from Modern Warfare, guys. This is amazing. Don't worry, the head doesn't look like this. It just doesn't fit into the head right there because the head is different when you play it. So really nice mod, and this mod even has double jumping, so you can double jump with this and get your enemies from higher up right there. Next up, we have the Titanfall outfits from Titanfall, and these outfits are from the Discord server right there. And you download them, just Google it, and you will find it. These outfits, uh, well, really nice fit into the world. You can play as the Titanfall Andrew operator right there, and you know, tactical mags, magazines, all the outfits that you know form from the mm, weapons. There, we only have the R101 on Nexus right now as the Titanfall weapon, but it's still amazing, and you can still play as the Titanfall operator right there. Tactical knife on the chest right there. Really nice to look at. Grab this mod if you want. And two variations right there. Next up we have Soap from Modern Warfare 2022 with glowing night vision uh, goggles right there. Um, topographic camo all around, magazines with, with camo. We have the um, med kits, tactical knife on his chest right there. Um, well, it's really nice mod. Look at this thing, and you can really well you can go really stealthy with this one right there at night and have fun with this thing. Magazines from from ARs and pistol on the chest. However you want to play this mod, it's all possible here. So next up, we have the BOCV Seal 10 mod, guys. You can replace caravans and DC guards with this. It's a really nice mod. It's available on Nexus, and you can download it for yourself. You will like the 90s style. Uh, outfits from the 90s. This is art the special ops outfits. So next up we have Farah from Modern Warfare 2019 with the AK Max on hip. Really nice for your female operators. Technical walkie talkie and a really nice outfit for Farah right there. Next up we have the Kruger outfits. There are some. We have the Chemist outfit, the Alliance outfit, the Shrouded outfit. They only are different in color right there as you can see. The netting is moving in the wind. This is a really nice camo for Kruger if you want to play as Kruger. Now we're going to switch lanes right there and finish our video soon. Let's go! Come on, we have Kruger Chemist right there if you want to protect yourself from radiation and from gases and stay hidden really nice with the gas mask and even this, like, the gas mask is swimming, swinging if you're walking, so this is a really nice addition right there. And the long black gloves to protect yourself from chemicals, also the large long sleeved uh, jacket right there that reaches up to your knees. Really nice classical Kruger outfit right there. Next up we have Kruger Tiger. This is a Kruger outfit for the snow builds. All of you that have a snow fallout for uh, choose this one because this is hiding you very nice in the snow and also protect you from radiation and you can stay very tactical with this one. Really nice to look at the magazines here, the scissors and tactical equipment all around the mod. Next up we have the um, let me just think about it. This is the let me see. This is the Bagana Militia Operator outfit from Nexus. And you can get this uh, from Nexus right there to replace Gunners right there, and especially you can have the Gunner watch from, and it also replaces the watches here for Division. This is a Division 2 outfit watch, and also it will appear on your arms and your hands while you play. Really nice addition right there if you want to go for a Division 2 playstyle. So next up we have the Military BDU camo right there, Military BDU outfits from Nexus. If you want to play as the um, Marine Corps, this is your outfit for you. With digital camo, magazines, pouches, walkie-talkies and everything else, grenades in different variations. This is the long sleeve variation, this is the short sleeve variation, US Marine Corps right there with grenades, tactical walkie-talkies and everything else right there. USMC 
patch on the hip right there as you can see really nice addition to the mod right there next up we have the um, clothing here US Marine Sergeant Corps uh, only the base outfit here nothing more to it if you can want you can add a cap or something to it to it to look more tactical next up we have the Otter outfit from Otter SAS this is a mod from Nexus guys get this thing if you want to play as Otter and be tactical with netting and have fun in the shadows next up we have Yegor's Ukraine outfit if you want to support Ukraine um, choose this one with AK Max right there uh, jeans and really nice outfit right there really cute addition to the Fallout 4 universe right there we have the uh, civilian replacer this is this um, let me just see the wasteland clothing replacer you can replace this for the civilian outfits and all of the civilians and all of the other actors and again we'll have this clothing equipped next up we have the shadow company from 2019 modern warfare right there this is a separate mod with this you can replace the um, brotherhood of steel outfits to wear this mod on them right there Next up, we have the um, soap. Out, uh, the, I'm sorry. This is Alex the Handler. This is Alex the Handler from Modern Warfare, right there. Choose this if you want to play as Alex with all of the magazines on the chest, on the hip, the gas grenades. Really nice to look at the camo right there. Also, really nice addition if you want to be camouflaged and play as Alex the Handler. Then we have soap. If you want to bring soap back to life uh, with, with his um, helmet, the outfit right there magazines and the outfit with magazines on the chest right there on the hip tactical walkie-talkie equipment jeans and really nice addition if you want to play as soap right there next up we have the last outfit for the series is the military outfit from the military minuteman mod from nexus you can actually well, I will replace the minuteman with this make it more tactical not too militarized but very very tactical 10 millimeter pistol on the hip for all of you that want to keep the game militarized but not too over militarized as in all of the other mods right there this game is ver lagging very much i'm so sorry because of the forest mod and well i need to change that soon so guys we are finished for today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support i hope you liked the review of all of the mods be sure to subscribe leave a like and a comment down below what you think of my video my gameplay and everything else and i'll be seeing you back in the next fallout 4 ultra modded video guys bye bye